Well, Kentucky governor says 76 people killed in the tornadoes, but uh, all who were missing have been accounted for. Now cleanup is underway. Long road ahead, and more than 30 percent of Graves County remains without power. And uh, that is just uh, 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 the latest metrics from uh, what's going on out there. As you can see, everybody definitely working very, very hard in order to get everything cleaned up there. And uh, you can see the Mayfield residents definitely still have their work cut out for them. As again, there is still just uh, a lot of rubble out there for the folks that are going to be going through everything. Um, and so many people lost their homes in the tornadoes and others having to live in homes badly damaged by the storms. Our next guests are doing what they can to help their neighbors. So joining us now, manager of Mayfield Garden Apartments, Stephanie Batinich, and fellow Mayfield resident, Crystal Vowell Johnson. Ladies, how are you doing tonight? Good, thank, Good, thank you. you. I guess my first question is, how are things going in the wake of, of it all? It's going, but it's, it's a lot slower. But everybody is helping as much as they can come into the community and help. Lots of volunteers, um, rescue teams. Uh, we're still without power. Um, it's, it's devastating. Can't even imagine. Now, Stephanie, a lot of families live in the Mayfield Garden Apartments, and with all the damage done, how are they managing? Well, we have we have 72 apartments, which we lost 14 of them. Um, I still have 29 families that are still in the homes, and I have people that are trying to come back to their homes because they are running out of places to stay at. Um, I know people are on a wait um, on a time frame where they're staying at the lakes and trying to come back and wondering when we're going to be up and running and have their apartments available. Unfortunately, we do not know at this time. We are rebuilding our, our property, our community, our apartments, our residents will have homes that, you know, were there before prior. We'll be, um, right now with no electricity, we have about 16 generators, which we're trying to find more generators because more people are coming back. Um, we have no gas or water and we are not really sure when we will have that. And it's, it's, we're just hoping, but we have plenty of people coming and volunteering and bringing food. We had a volunteer come in with Santa today and bring, um, you know, toys for the kids and everything. And it's like, wait a minute, wait, when is Christmas? We, you know, mm. we're not even thinking about that, but it, the kids were just so happy, but a lot of families that are still there and it's starting to get colder here. And yeah. so we're in need of generators and, you know, gas and that kind of stuff. Yeah, gosh, I could only imagine Christmas would probably be the farthest thing from your minds, right? What about the communities in the area? Are, are people showing signs of recovery, or is there still still just a lot of work to do? You would probably know more about that because I've been at the property for 12 hours a day every day. Um, there is still a lot of work to do everywhere. I mean, I know um, not just in our community, but in other communities like Casey, um, and Bremen and Dawson Springs. I know that there's just everywhere, there's just been a huge um, influx of volunteers from all over the country, really, um, and people just coming in saying they just want to do whatever they can to help us. Um, so we've all been really fortunate, um, especially this time of year, to have so many people trying to help us and support us. Um, but it's just, it's going to be a slow process. So you both also work at a steakhouse that had to be evacuated 10 minutes before the storm started, and the restaurant was actually damaged pretty bad. How's the staff there doing since then? We are We're all... losing our minds, not being around <laughs> each other. <laughs> the, the, the steakhouse was not just damaged. I mean, it was leveled. <laughs> it was a very, very old building, um, but... Um, I know there have been other interviews with Lauren and David and the say, the statement saying it's not just a building to us has been going around several times, but that's really true. Um, we are, it's rare that you find a workplace where, where you can genuinely care for each other like we do here. And every single one of us the next day just were like talking about how much we would give anything just to have one more shift or to he'll hear them yell our names that we have food in the window or just to be able to walk back into that building again and, and work together. All right, well, how, how can, and this is the question I think that everybody's probably uh, wanting an answer to at this point. How can people help you guys? What can we do? 
Um, we have there. There is a GoFundMe for Car Steakhouse um, that we had sent um, with Mayfield Garden Apartments. Um, we haven't been able to set up anything without any electricity, internet, or anything like that. So you can send if anybody's wanting to to Mayfield.Gardens at Yahoo.com, and um, our regionals will be checking our emails um, for anybody wanting to send help to our community, to our apartments, our town. Got it. Okay. Stephanie and Crystal, thank you so much for joining us. I know y'all are probably feeling a little bit weary at this point, but, uh, but keep going strong. We're going to do our, our absolute best here to help you out from afar. Okay. So take care, stay safe and uh, have a Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you.